Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. We're currently on the 8th of August. 22 days left until this transfer window ends. And the signings that we've made is Matvev Safanov, João Neves, and obviously Pancho. Has this been a successful window? Absolutely no. I've been seeing people say, oh, if you just do this and this, it's an amazing window. First of all, we haven't sold a single player. You know how bad that is? If we go back to a video I made, PSG players, I expect to be sold. It was a list above like 10 players or something. And obviously, it's never going to go according to expectations. It's going to be a little bit less. But not fucking from 11 to 0. Luis Campos. Luis Campos, I'm looking at you. Because the only reason you are at this club is because of Kylian Mbappé. You were one of his promises to stay at this club. And you've been a leech now. Now that Mbappé is left, it's like you don't fucking care about the club. Because the two previous windows, I like them from you. I enjoyed them. Bros are selling and they're buying. Obviously now looking at hindsight, the Gonzalo, the Ugarte, Skriniar, other stuff, it doesn't look that good. But as I said, when the window happened, that's what most important ma matters to me. And it looked good. But this time, during the window, it looks absolutely horrible. And we've even had Jamal, the reliable insider, who's always nice to people working at Paris Saint-Germain, come out and talk negatively about your transfer window. So this report dropped from Fabrice Hawkins at RMC Sport yesterday. If in February the club announced the arrival of one or two world-class strikers, this should not happen. The reasons? There aren't many players of this caliber on the market. Paris had a short list at the beginning of the transfer window, but encountered refuses like Naples for Kvaratskhelia. So, I mean, Fabrice Hawkins here is kind of trying to defend Luis Campos because he's forgetting to mention that Luis Campos failed to get these players. Yes, it's hard to get Kvaratskhelia, but it's not impossible. Let's not act like all of these players are impossible to get. Let's start talking about Luis Campos being an incompetent sporting director that can't make us into an attractive club that can't negotiate for big players. As I've said in the previous video, Luis Campos exposure video I made, this is not Luis Campos' game. Luis Campos is good at signing young players and all of that. But this once again proves that we need someone else. This is what Jamal had to say. It would be a disaster if that happens, especially since the management knew for a long time about the departure of Mbappe was scoring 50 goals per season, so they have had enough time to anticipate the current situation. We're one of the most important transfer windows of the QSI era, and there are going to be a lot of matches this season, especially with the new formats in the Champions League. In other words, we will really have to ensure in terms of the transfer window over the next three weeks. Because, well, it's all well and good trying to reassure the fans after the announcement of Mbappe's departure by using the media to get the mis message across that there will be a top recruit on each line but now it's time to put words into action the three weeks left in the transfer window let's hope for a good end we'll be very attentive here the thing I'll, at least i like from jamal is that he has hope is this cope could be copium it definitely could be copium but jamal having some kind of hope means that there's still an idea of some success towards the end of this window as i've talked to david yesterday i've accepted we won't sign any player that's the situation Luis Campos has put me in, where I'm expecting Paris Saint-Germain to not replace Kylian Mbappé's goals in any kind of matter. The only attacking player we'll get that will be added is Ibrahim Mbappé from the under-19. At the moment, I don't see anyone being signed. Obviously, there's a possibility of Osimhen and maybe Dewey and Defender and all of that, but I don't want to expect anything. I don't want to expect because I've had huge expectations over this transfer window. We have crazy amount of money. We have place and Bappa's wages out of the books. But Luis Campos has been an absolute failure. As the report mentioned, Kylian Mbappé, that's a 50 goals a season player. We haven't replaced a single one of his goals. Rather, we are Gonzalo Cola are going to take over. We saw them yesterday. We saw them for the previous season. They are way off, way off Mbappé's 50 goals. This is completely embarrassing, especially when I see people defend this filth, defend this filth and be happy going into the season with Gonzalo and Colo. Are you Paris Saint-Germain fans? Or are you Lille fans? Or are you Monaco fans? Or are you Excellent fans? Or are you even Strasbourg fans? Because this is not the Paris Saint-Germain I knew. This is not the Paris Saint-Germain I know. I've been supporting this club since 2012. 
And this has by far been the most embarrassing transfer window. When you look into context, take everything into context, this has been an absolute disaster full of a window. As I mentioned, people don't talk about it, but we have sold zero players. If we had sold some players, some of these transfers would have been easier. Like Farad Skelly, I think we're willing to put up to 80 million. If we had sold Ugarte, we can put that Ugarte money to Kvara, and then it would probably happen. He already has, has an agreement with us. But Kvara and Osimhen are the only players, big players, that have actually had an agreement with us. Obviously, Yoro has some kind of an agreement and all of that, but it's, it's absolutely filthy. Luis Campos, you have 22 days to fix this problem. Yes, it's a huge problem and you have to fix it. I've seen people trying to blame Nasser, trying to blame Lucho and trying to blame other people for this disaster full of a window. No, all the fingers are pointed at the fat Portuguese pig. I repeat, all the fingers are pointed at the fat Portuguese pig. This is not funny. This is not entertaining. I'm tired. I need better transfers. As the report mentioned, there aren't that many great players left. Why? Because a lot of them have rejected us, moved on, or we just failed to sign them. Please, please, please. Calma. Calma, calma, calma. I'm still confident with the players that we have. For me, if we have to go into the season, the only thing I want is a striker. I don't want to see Gonzalo or Colo. I repeat, I don't want to see Gonzalo or Colo. Just sign a striker. I don't even need a backup fucking winger. We can play Kangi Lee, we can play Mayulu, we can play Asensio. It's obviously a downgrade from all the players we've been after, but I'm content with that. The only thing I'm not content with is not signing a striker. People trying to say Osimhen is a, is a glorified call and all of that. Have some respect. Victor Osimhen is a player that's played in the European top five leagues for over five seasons. This is a player that's won the Serie A top scorer award. Similarly to two strikers we've signed before in Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Edinson Cavani. This is a player actually that's pushing for the move. This is a player that's already reached an agreement. This is a player that wants to come to Paris Saint-Germain, succeed with Paris Saint-Germain, and play in the Champions League with Paris Saint-Germain. So... Don't fucking bottle this campus. And I've seen the reports about Lucha and all of that. Look, I think Os Lucha, one thing he can definitely agree on is even though Osimhen doesn't really, you know, tactically suit him, he's still a huge upgrade on Gonzalo Ramos and Randal Colombani. That's been it from your boy PSG. And as usual, allez, 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 Paris.